Uh, I am going to show you my Sunray Sport 109E camper today. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. But I'm going to try to cover the whole camper today. And I'll probably have to chop it up in a lot of videos. Hopefully I'll figure out how to edit it and put it together. So let's get started. So here's the camper. Again, it's the Sunray Sport 109E. And I'll just go from uh, stem to stern, so, uh, so we say, I guess. And... Uh, cover all of the items that would be here. So right now it's connected to my truck. Um, there's obviously the tongue and the jack. Um, no issues with anything. Emergency brake cable is still there intact and functioning. Um, propane bottle. And it's got a deep cycle battery here. And it has a uh, obviously the switch here to turn off your battery. And this is also the solar connection here so that you can set it up for solar. It, it's prepared for solar, but it does not have solar panels on it right now. Here's the load deck the up in front, and it's quite wide. This is, uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's about five feet deep and probably uh, almost eight feet wide. It's plenty big enough for a couple of dirt bikes, maybe three. Uh, these two sides, both of these sides come off. As you can see, they're just held off with pins. And uh, one side has a, has a lip. So it'll fit in the channel on the other side there's a little channel and so you can load it you can use both of these ramps at the same time side by side and add an atv or like i said if you put it on dirt bikes then it gives you a place to walk up while your while your bike is on the other one here's the front of the camper no issues see it's already got leveling uh levelers here um here is the under camper storage area so uh, right now I have, let's see, I've got, I have an electric cable for you, uh, several leveling blocks. I have a, uh, a tent for the shower in case you want uh, to have a little bit of privacy while you're showering. I've got a lug wrench, I've got a uh, tent stakes for the shower, stuff like that. That's all in here right now. Here's the AC cord where the AC goes in. Uh, here's the shower. I'll show you that later. Fresh water connection, city water connection, and this is the outlet. I have that open because I'm in the process of doing winterizing. Here's a hot water heater right here. Got a few spider webs, but otherwise it's in great working condition. No issues at all. Heats up really fast. Works great walk around to the back oh i missed it here's the uh there's the uh, coax port for a tv if you should want to here's the side and the back i'll uh only have me here and i don't have a tripod or anything i'm not a professional youtuber so i'll go ahead and open it up uh here is the kitchen sorry i did need a couple of extra hands uh, and I still don't have them, so I'm still trying to do handheld. I apologize. So uh, here's the top of the stove, and uh, use these uh, use these winglets here to uh, keep the wind off, and also uh, to protect this wall. And then uh, I have the gas on right now. I have the heated inside, so you can see that they both turn on. They both adjust fine. No problems. They both burn great. And they both turn off just fine. So no issues there. Um, I, I'll show you the sink a little bit later. Um, let's see. I've got the cabinets up here. GFC outlet here. And a little bit more storage down here. The refrigerator is a two-way. The controls are up here. And... Uh, you lift this thing here to open the refrigerator. The refrigerator works great. No issues. And the freezer gets really nice and cold. And it looks like I've got a little bit of smut there. I'll clean that up before <laughs> before anybody buys it. Apologize for that. Give me just a second and I, uh, I'll put the phone down and I'll put it, pick it back up and resume. Hi. So uh, here we are back. Here's the microwave. Uh, camper. I know, I'm not a YouTube presenter. Maybe I should learn how to do that. But uh, no issues with any of the microwave. Works great. Uh, I'll probably plug up the uh, plug up the AC here in a few minutes. 
and show you that it runs, but it works great. No issues. Here's the other side. There's an air hose so you can pressurize your water if you need to. Uh, speakers on the outside. Um, here's a electrical outlet here. And we'll go inside. Oh, one more thing. This awesome 270 degree uh, Overland Vehicle Systems uh, 270 degree canopy. It's wonderful. It has several uh, legs that go out around the outside, and uh, but it's freestanding, so you can get it set up and, and take it down very easily. So uh, uh, one person can do it in just about uh, four or five minutes. So it's quick and it works great. I, and it covers all the way from uh, right here. The canopy begins here, believe it or not. So it covers this whole area here and it goes all the way around, way out, like, uh, like this far out, all the way over the kitchen and it ends here. So that way you can get out of the camper and walk over and make your food and never get wet in the rain. Here's the interior. I'll try to go as slowly as possible to get all of the details, um, but forgive me if I miss something. Right now I'm just uh, fastening the door. Okay, so let's see. First of all, there's a switch right here that turns on the light here. Uh, find it. There's the light there. It's quite bright. Um, and then, then the switch next to it, that turns on the overhead lights so we can see inside. Here's the bed, it's a full-size bed. This works. Kind of interesting works on this platform if you're not familiar with them it has a platform here you move these cushions out of the way and so the platform you just pick this part up you slip it in just like that and it gets it becomes a couch you can push it all the way up against the wall and it becomes just a couch so a lot of times i just sleep on it like this because i'm not a big guy and that way I've got some space for my feet. Um, there's a heater underneath. That's your AC-DC converter and your CO2 sensor. Coming in, let's see. Here's the air conditioner. It works great. It's probably a little bit big for, uh, for the size of the camper, but that's okay because it's really easy to cool off even in, when it's super hot. A couple of speakers, uh, your roof vent, um smoke detector got a radio so um here's the remote for the tv uh sorry i'm not pointing at the right thing there's a remote for the tv uh i didn't really tidy up the cables because you have to take the tv off to travel you're supposed to um it just it seems to fall back and forth if you don't uh but it does just great when you're static and besides the mount says to take it off when you're going down the road so um I, I don't I don't tidy that up, but nevertheless, uh, there's some RCA cables there for attachment, and uh, they everything works great. It, it's a Roku ready, so you can just plug it right in, and uh, run it off of Bluetooth to your phone. Here's uh, the radio, and this plays outside and inside. Um, no issues with the radio. It's it's Bluetooth as well, and it has some USB and HDMI ports. Um, and there's some other USB ports over here. Quite a few different things. There's an electrical outlet right there. Um, see your window. Window works great, no issues. No issues with, uh, with the function of the window. Everything works exactly as new. Um, I mean, it's really in fantastic condition. So I don't think that there's anything missing on it that doesn't function properly. Um, I'm really pleased with the camper itself. So uh, anyway, that's what I've got inside, I think. So a, last, a couple last items that I'll cover. The tires are in really fantastic shape. They've got lots and lots of tread. They're nearly new, just like I said. Um, it up, sits up nice and tall. You can see that there's a lot of space underneath. Um, the, obviously the, the stairs go up, so lots of space underneath and you could even move the spare tire if you wanted to so that it doesn't hang down as low. The jacks all function great. There are four jacks, none of those legs. You've got real jacks all the way around and uh, super stable when the jacks are down. 
So, uh, like I said, if you have any other questions, let me know.